All right, Base Gear Magazine here at the 2017 Summer Nam Show in Nashville, and we just met up with uh, Aaron Ross, who's going to show us some really cool stuff. Aaron. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I make bass guitars. been doing this for quite a while. Because my basses are different, I ended up having to make a different kind of guitar bridge to accommodate these. So basically what I did was I came up with the world's first saddleless guitar bass, guitar bridge. There's no saddle on these. Uh, simply by accident, what I figured out is that by uh, setting up a bridge this way, it applied five times more downforce on an instrument than the history of mankind, for whatever reason. Uh, so now I've got a couple of different models of these. I've got the high ones that go on my guitar specifically. Uh, just because I put a back angle in my neck, it creates kind of a uh, generally high spot back there where the strings attach to the body. Uh, for the rest of the world, I came out with a drop-in, which is the gold brass one here. This one gets routed out uh, and dropped into a pocket on somebody's instrument. Specifically, manufacturers would be better off maybe doing this one. I can't see somebody doing a 59P bass, cutting a hole in it because right. it's their precious poops in uh, This one right here is the official universal bridge that I've got, and this will literally go on anybody's bass uh, with a screwdriver. So, real simple. Uh, it changed the physics, the downforce, uh, the tension. It removed the saddle, which turns out is a complete hindrance to what a guitar sounds like. Uh, and once I actually removed the saddle and I got this stuff set up on a guitar, it started ringing. It started ringing the dinner bell. I couldn't believe the harmonics. I couldn't believe the fundamentals. The stuff is all there in spades. Uh, and it seems as though downforce and then removing uh, the encumbrance of the saddle and the kink in the string is what ended up doing it. So I've been at this for a while. Uh, and this one is going to be brought to you by AP International over here. Andy Papiccio has become a friend of mine, and he's going to start producing these for me. Uh, hopefully, they're going to retail somewhere about 100 100 Hundred ten dollars. That's like crazy. That. Trying to make it affordable for everybody. Hey, can we have you hold up uh, one of the bases too yeah. and show that to our, our, our viewers? So to give you some kind of an idea why this happened, I put a back angle in all the necks of my guitars. Makes them generally more comfortable to play. Uh, because I ended up doing that, I had a bridge problem on this end, uh, and they don't make a factory bridge that's this tall. So, uh, by way of accommodating a height problem and an elevation problem in my instrument, it just ended up being one of these. So, all end is suspended back here uh, in this little cutout, so the strings stay put when you put them in there. You can adjust the action and the intonation with the strings on the instrument. You just have to back off the tuners a couple of, a couple of turns. Uh, Otherwise, it's like a shop project, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, uh, lefty-lower, righty-raisy. It's real intuitive. It only takes a minute to set this stuff up the way any particular bassist wants to play. Uh, some guys, I'm told, have a profoundly high action on their guitar. Somebody said Victor Wooten likes a really, really high action on it. So, so high that the guy that borrowed his bass couldn't play it. Sure, sure. It was so high. Uh, I always prefer a medium low action myself, personally. I don't like fretless. I do like the sound of fretless. I can't play a fretless. Um, so fretless is obviously going to be a little higher, but because of the simplicity of this system, once you set the intonation and you set the action, it's a, it's a five, five minute deal and you're ready to go for the rest of your life. The string tension itself cool. keeps the intonators in place. Nothing moves, nothing slides, it all just kind of stays there and does what it wants to. And in the process, you get a, a resonance that comes from every possible piece of this guitar. It doesn't come from the bridge, it doesn't come from the neck, it doesn't come from the headstock, it comes from absolutely everything. Uh, in, in creating my own instruments, you got to do research. And I spent a number of years doing research. And today, we can put a guy on the moon, okay? But nobody can tell you precisely where the sound in an instrument comes from. If it's an acoustic, most people would say, well, it comes out of the sound hole, obviously, but that's not the case. Yep. It comes out of the neck, it comes back out of the side, back. Yeah. Side. It all resonates as one piece. Uh, and one of the things I noticed when I started putting these on my basses is that just naturally and unplugged, they're just naturally louder than some other basses that are out there. Part of it is the straight line uh, with the string, and part of it's the, uh, the downforce on the bridge itself. So ends up being a really great package, uh, and hopefully, before Christmas, we're going to have some we're going to have some bridges out there for the world. You can't wait to check them out. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks yeah. for stopping by. Aaron Ross, 2017 Summer Nam Show. Bye.